A.D. Jameson? Yes. A psych have just arrived to assess her. And? And we don't exactly know where she is. Don't worry. They won't find us here. But I thought, what are we doing? I told you. I'm going to help you. But I thought we were going to the roof. We're going to stop the voices. Mad, search every loo between here and AAU. You need to check the roof. Why the roof? Don't worry, Mr. James. So we have patients go walk about all the time here. Lenny, did you find Dr. Winters and ask her if she's seen Katie? Where is she? I don't know, but I want her back here now. <laughs> Stop! Stop him now, Adam! Why? What is this? Get to the roof! Why, Dick? Because she thinks she can fly. Please, just get to the roof. I told you I understood, Katie. I'm the only one who does. So you need to trust me. I'm not going to hurt you. She used to smile. Mum. Oh. She make all these little toys out of all sorts of tat. Elastic bands or foil. It's no fun having a mum who's poorly, but your dad's right. Medication's only another sedative, like alcohol. It's not curative. You agree with dad? There is a physiological explanation for everything, Katie. There is no such thing as mad. What exactly are you doing? You do want me to make the voices stop. I want... to be myself. That's all. I did fly, you know. Only for a few seconds. But I did. What you're experiencing is auditory disturbance caused by acoustic neuroma. Not schizophrenia. It's a benign tumour that's putting pressure on the cranial nerve and... producing what can sound like a voice. Uh, how can you be so sure? Because I can hear it too. Ruth? No, Ruth. Her. Good jail looking for her. I couldn't find her anywhere. No, not Ruth, the patient. Yeah. I looked everywhere except the on-call room. I tried there, actually. I couldn't get in. Why not? Look, I told you guys. The keys disappeared and no-one knows where the spare one is. Just keep looking then. Come on. Dr. Winters? Anyone in there? Go away! Leave us alone! Ruth? What are you doing? I know I can. To me, Ruth? I mean, are you both safe in there? We'd be a lot safer if you'd leave us alone. This is a delicate enough procedure without you in my ear. Is she operating in there? Right, call the police. No, wait, Ruth, please, come on. Will you leave me alone? Only I can do this. Do what, Dr. Winters? Oh, now she wants to listen. Who's she talking to? I want you to stop and tell me exactly what you're doing. Don't talk to me like that. I am a surgeon, and the surgeon commands the ultimate respect. Demands it. Because he or she must remain in control always. No matter what. Dr. Winters. 
much. Dr. Winters, I have been called down from a TAAA. Now open the door, please. I'm making good progress on my own. Well, that's the perfect time for me to take a look. What's the matter with you all? Why won't you ever listen to me? I can do this. I have no doubt about that, Ruth. Really? Stop fishing for compliments and open the door. Are you on your own? Yes. How do I know I can trust you? Oh, you want to talk to me about trust? Now, you're a doctor. Focus. I'm here to help, Ruth. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, we're here. Oh, it's gonna be a good time. Don't worry, stay calm, don't worry. Don't worry, 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 don't worry. Let's go back to the ED, where we belong. That's it, Ruth. Stay calm. Oh, struggle. Oh, struggle. Oh, we're going to take you somewhere safe. Just have to stay calm. Read the letter. 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 Please. OK, OK. I got it. OK. This way. Come on, Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's Ruth! Oh, come on. Ruth! 